Hi Aquarius, welcome. This is your energy forecast for the week of 18th until the 24th of March. All right, let's look into this chakra wisdom card. Get a feel of the energy for this week for you. And we get going with the tarot reading afterwards. Creation. Hmm, this is something to do with a blockage of your crown chakra connection to the divine. So there may be something... Um, yeah there may be something threatening okay i use the word threatening because no one can take away our power even if they try even if they um even if they do at some point they never get to do that all right so this may be something as well okay talk about power this may be something that you have been working on reclaiming your power from all right an event some situations perseverance oh it's kept you standing strong and doing your healing because this is sacral chakra healing something to do with the divine feminine healing whether you are divine masculine or divine feminine this is about your healing of your emotions and you've had to persevere through it all right so there's something about this situation that has Threaten to block your crown chakra, which is your connection to your divinity, to the universe, and you've been persevering through this, so there may be something to do with this this week. All right, so let's see more about this. And if this situation is coming back around somehow, that means it may cause you to feel like you are at a crossroad, like not knowing... Mm -hmm. You may not... Let's just see what comes up because I'm getting something about crossroads. Like you're moving, walking, 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 and all of a sudden something pops up. And this feels manipulative on the energetic level. So the reason you feel at the crossroads is because this has... Um, it has been able to win in the past. All right, to put you in that place. But now that you've grown... Is going to come yeah I'm getting it will come to show you just how much you have grown all right how much you've stepped into your power because this kind of situations we don't have a physical parameter for it is situations like this that will come to show us all right so let's see what comes up for the overall energy of the week seven of Pentacles there we go two of swords three of wands so this is something that you've put in a lot of work it's been bringing you back to the crossroads you've turned your back away from it you've moved away from it and then it may try to bring you to a place where you don't know what option to take which way to go And it's trying, it's because this seven of pentacles, when I see it, what I see is the seven chakras, the main chakras of uh, the body. So starting from the root at the spinal level. So that is your core up until your crown chakra. So you've been doing a lot of work to clear this out. So if you don't know what this situation is, Aqua, I'm getting to sit back and observe. Because if they have tried to do that to you again and again, this means they've tried to blind you. They've tried to put you in a... Uh, yeah, I'm getting a memory blockage here. Block your memory. Put you to sleep. And you wake up again and again to keep going forward. And then you have your expansion from there. This is an energy of growth as well. So whatever this is, it feels like you are having victory. Okay. Uh, there we go. The devil. So this, are, this is a, um, something to do with, I'm getting the past for some of you. It could be a home situation. Okay, there, there may be a divine feminine, divine masculine in the picture, and you are one of this. Um, and then there's five of swords. 
so whatever this is they are facing defeat at this time and they're trying to come back in all right let's get something from angels and ancestors so the thing is we're coming into aries season this week aries is all about new beginnings leadership dropping off of and releasing old patterns so of course this is when these energies can come out of nowhere to stop you on your way it could be a physical occurrence for some of you magic guardian unlock the magic within heart guardian love and let yourself be loved i'm going to get one more from here moon take note of intuitive messages so there may be some intuitive messages coming to you around this time and you're just yeah i'm getting to observe to sit back and observe because it may not even be like it's putting you in a place where you're shifting your perceptions about some situations Maybe that are more towards your present than your past. Druid, there, hold the space. You're being guided to hold space at this time, Aqua. Something is coming that you may be fighting the wrong people, okay? Uh, that may apply to some of you, but it just came. You may be fighting the wrong people. All right, let's see the beginning of the week. The hanged man, Pisces energy. So there may be something that you may feel in one place, like stuck. And this is a holding space, just like Druid. Hmm. We may read Druid after. What about the hanged man? Nine of wands. Staying resilient through something. Wheel of fortune. All right, whatever comes up at the beginning of the week may make you feel stuck. This two of swords is like the picture I have is someone walking, just like the example that came earlier. You're walking, 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 and this situation purposefully and tactfully comes across you and then all of a sudden you don't know how to act you don't know how to respond and this may be physical because with the three of wands and nine of wands there may be something about your neighborhood or your environment an energy that is very similar to something that you have been healing you've been healing from so, yeah. All right, let's get to the middle of the week. The Magician, Gemini Energy, Knight of Wands. So this feels like a, something about taking action. It's like you're taking action, something that would have kept you stuck in the past, you're actually taking action at this time. So you're moving with your intuition. With this moon card, this is someone moving with their intuition. Exactly. You will see just how, how much you have grown. Yeah, I'm getting grown. Okay, and this is spiritually and emotionally. Energetically as well. All right, let's get more about the middle of the week. Four of Wands. So this may be to do with a home. Yeah, that came with the chariot as well. This is Libra, Gemini. And then we have some Pisces here. It could be a structure, a building. But there's something again that you're hitting a milestone on and that is you taking action 
and it's helping you to be in your new beginnings and this middle of the week is when we come into Aries season wow okay let's get to the end of the week two of wands the tower that is Aries card so you may have Aries in your chart or yeah, it could be a pattern that is coming down. A pattern that has kept you stuck at the crossroads, not knowing what direction to take or how to respond. Yeah, I'm getting how to respond. Mm -hmm. It's like you're going to be responding in a new way and someone is going to be like, wow, <laughs> you know, they may not show you their reaction. Yeah, they're not going to be happy. That's for sure. You may find yourself declining a request. There's something to do with speaking here. Hmm. Something that has kept you at the crossroads, Aqua. Something that has kept you feeling indecisive over and over again. And I feel like it's an energy that has been coming in the form of people, even around you. It's coming down. It's coming down. Because the overall energy, we have three of wands, which is progress, looking forward. And in the process of it, we have two of wands by the end of the week, which means your overall outcome is that three of wands. So if you find yourself in the process, then you are in it. In fact, you may not even remember this reading. All right, let's get to the end of the week. Nine of Cups, wish fulfillment. You're zooming off. <laughs> you're definitely moving forward. Whatever this is, I feel like you're going to feel good about it. Like feeling very good about yourself and to yourself and with yourself. And maybe at, at this time you remember this reading. <laughs> yeah. It looks good, Aqua. It looks really good. This situation has been deeply and highly manipulative. Hmm. And now things are working out more in your favor working for you they don't see the struggles and their only task and motive is to get in your way like how do they do it but they will not ask you directly how do you do it what they try to do instead is manipulate is to manifest of you And with the yellow being here, it's something to do with confidence. And this is it exactly. The Knight of Wands is giving that boost of confidence. You taking action in, sit in a situation where you wouldn't have done so before. And that is your victory right there. For some of you, it's not one situation, it's not two. It may be more, but because this is coming on the energetic level, it's going to flow into every direction of your relationships or encounters. All right, let's get more messages. King of Wands, there, reclaimed your power from this situation. This person, yeah, they, they do know how to go about their way. I keep getting to say that again and again. They're very good. They're, they're, they use tactics. You know, they're the kind of people you're in their midst and your throat is heavy. Yeah, my throat is heavy here. Um, because their energy in itself, because as you are growing, you're expanding, you can sense more of these energies easily. You can feel that, you, you can feel the difference. There is a, 
big gap at this point. There you are as the king of wands. Two of pentacles. So there may be something to do with finances here and an unblocking that is happening for you. And unblocking from the root chakra to the sacral. So you there may be something to do with root and sacral chakra healing at this point. So for some of you, this could be to do with the root. So family and some energies that have come from there. And if you have moved places, those energies have come in the form of someone. I'm getting one person in particular. And yeah, hold space for this. Because you may be wondering, who is this? You're going to see it if you feel guided to this message. But yeah, this person has tr tried to stifle your manifestations. They don't look like it. Queen of Pentacles, stay grounded. This is someone who is a business person as well. So there may be something with your business that you've been working on and there is an unblocking even if you don't see that in the physical this week it feels like you're stepping into it all right you're stepping more into that energy of new beginnings of uh, free-flowing manifestations because with manifestations it's like we always manifest but when we get a blockage with manifestations then there is more to it and then we get on this journey of healing and revelations from situations that we never even could have guessed. We begin to wake up. Our memories are returned. So it feels like your, some of I'm, I'm getting your memories are being returned even at this time that you are aligned with this video. Um... It can also be emotional. Yeah, it can be that. But yeah, this is an unblocking, a major unblocking happening at the root level. And that is activating all the other levels for you. And the overarching message is be aware and mindful of something that comes as an obstacle on your path this week and whatever this is has threatened to block off your creativity and your flow your ability to speak your truth to be in your power because they don't believe that in the first place so how can you how can you claim to know that or to to come out yeah it's a kind of coming out you're coming out of a, of something you've woken up and they're not happy about it the hierophant so there may be a commitment in question as well like a relationship or um, a kind of a community involved here something that is deeply rooted in structure and this is how it needs to be yeah I'm getting something about that like this is how it needs to be so how dare you bring something different Let's get something from the Wild and Sacred Feminine. Hummingbird, joy. This is an energy of new beginnings in your manifestations. All right, more unblocking is happening for you. I see the infinity sign. So there's something about this infinity sign is it continues to move. It keeps moving. And with one, two, three, there is that uh, collaboration with spirit, co-creation that you have 
dear gentleness. Okay, let's see. Moon, take note of intuitive messages. Moon is a warrior symbol. Use your intuition. Practice discernment. See through illusions and blockages. The moon is strongly associated with the divine feminine and the energy of receiving. If the sun is God, the moon is goddess, and so she offers a powerful energy of polarity and balance. She has a cyclic energy and is therefore strongly connected to emotions, which often come and go in waves, and to somewhat interesting behavior. So, when the moon appears in a reading, you are often being told not everything is as it seems. The moon has a dark side, just dark, not negative, and can show you what you've been kept in the dark about. Lunar energies are surrounding your life, allowing you to understand what is standing in your way. Not everything is as it seems, and you are being guided to use your discernment.